Hey guys, this is You Versus Them. This reading is for the 31st of October, Halloween, through the 8th of November. So we're going to go ahead and get started. Of course, I'm using two decks here, um, Spellcasters Tarot, and I forget which which one this other one is because I'm awful about putting my boxes somewhere else and um, forgetting about the decks because I just connect visually with them, not by the names, okay? So, um, without further ado, let's get started. Oh, if you guys are interested in a personal reading, then uh, go ahead and check out the website at pinkarianjam.com, okay? Again, this reading is for Pisces. Let's see, how did you guys feel about this connection with this person? that you had, Pisces. How did Pisces feel about the connection with this person? How did Pisces feel about this connection? The magician, who? I think you guys always felt like this person was doing shit, like doing manipulative shit, doing stuff on purpose, pulling your strings, pushing your buttons. Um, Gemini, Virgo energy here. I also feel like Scorpio maybe here and um, possibly Aquarius energy for you guys, okay? Hmm. And they knew what they were doing. How did you feel? How did this person feel about the connection with Pisces? How did they feel? How did they feel about the connection with Pisces? Five of Cups. Huh. This per person felt like they couldn't help themselves with you. Um, they liked putting you on this emotional roller coaster, but then they feel they felt bad about how they behave. This person does have a lot of regrets. Um, they feel bad about how they treated you, and they wish they could take it back. I feel like miss, a strong missed opportunity uh, situation going on here with this person. Cancer energy, five of cups, cancer Gemini possibly for some of you guys here, okay? What's currently happening for my Pisces? What's currently happening for Pisces? Starting over, doing new things, on to new shit, okay? It's like, you know, it is what it is and you're moving on. I feel like there's another opportunity that has presented itself. Maybe some of you guys are actually dating. Not too serious about who you are currently dating, but nevertheless, you're having fun doing it, okay? You're not letting this situation like keep you stagnant, holding you back. No, don't see you doing that. Sorry, Pisces person. Pisces is not sitting around pining, okay? <clears throat> What's currently going on for them? probably going on for them Ooh, look at that the devil Capricorn energy this person's obsessing about you they're obsessing about you right now and they also are beating themselves up um, they're so focused on this person has a lot of regrets I feel like there's some depression here they want so badly to change things with you. They want so badly to be with you. I feel some depression going on with them currently, um, but they're really not accepting full responsibility, I feel, for what they did. I think what they feel bad about is that you guys are not with them. That's what this is. They feel bad that you're not with them, that they're um, not able to manipulate you, persuade you to do some things that they would normally be able to get you to do. I feel like you guys are standing your ground at this point on certain issues. What's influencing this situation with Pisces? What's influencing this situation with Pisces? The star, your healing. You're healing. I feel like you guys are really on a quest to find a person that is right for you. Because you have a question about them. This is Aquarius energy. You want to find the person that is right for you. What you're supposed to be doing. Your destiny. 
And you do have hope that this can happen. You haven't given up on love is what this is. You haven't given up on what's right for you. <clears throat> what's current, currently influencing the other person? What's influencing them? The world. I feel like this person's not having the best of luck. They're going through some changes right now. Sagittarius, Piscean energy. You are influencing them. You are definitely influencing them and the changes that you are making. You standing your ground. You establishing your boundaries. And it's driving them freaking crazy. Let me just tell you that. Okay. What's coming in for Pisces? What's coming in for Pisces? Four of Pentacles. I feel like you guys are definitely, you know, showing some reserve. I think that you're not just wearing your heart on your sleeve. Um, I, I, I feel you guys are shutting down, to be honest with you. Um, you do have hope that you will find the person that's right for you. But at the same time, I feel like there was a lot of hurt that came from this situation with this person and you're not trying to shut down but i feel like in essence that's what's happening because you're trying to protect yourself from the hurt that you felt here and saying to yourself this shit will never happen again to me it will never happen again to me i do feel like some of you too are maybe like in a financial pinch and um, you're learning how to basically, you know, get by on your own. And so you're having to like, you know, save money and, and spend wisely here because you're no longer with this person. Okay. Again, Capricorn energy there. Some of you are actually holding on to this person like you're having a hard time letting go of them. Because even though this person has been manipulative to you and probably emotionally manipulative, manipulative to you, wow, um, you still felt like this person was the one at some point. And you probably still do. You just felt like this person's not good for you is the thing. So you're really having a hard time letting this person go energetically. But you're trying. And I give you an A for effort. Because you know what you deserve. What's coming in for the other person? What's coming in for the other person? Okay. The hanged man. Feeling stuck. I feel like this person's gonna... They're having their own pity party, to be honest with you. Okay. Feeling like there's nothing that they can do. Just letting things play out. Is what's coming in for them. I feel like this person is going through... Um, Bouts of depression, to be honest with you. They're going through bouts of depression, Piscean energy here as well. They feel like there's nothing they can do to change the situation with you guys. Hmm. What is the outcome here for Pisces? What's the outcome for Pisces? Three of Pentacles. Hmm. I feel like there's somebody that you guys are wanting to invest with, um, but I feel like you are holding back somewhat from this situation. You're leery about it. Some of you guys are actually thinking about working with this person, compromising with this person, reaching out to this person, showing them the way. Some of you. You have strong Capricorn energy here in your reading, Capricorn Aquarius, in your reading here. Um, but yeah, this is compromising. This is talking things out, showing somebody, look, hey, you know, I can do this if you're willing to do this. So I definitely see some of you possibly like giving this situation another chance. 
-hmm. Others of you are moving on and like deciding to vet invest elsewhere. And possibly in someone else that you've already encountered. So different situation for different ones of you, okay? What is the outcome for this person? What is the outcome for this person? Two of Wands, being on the fence. <laughs> being on the fence. Trying to figure out what they should do, if there's something that they can do. If there's something that they can do, this is Aries energy here. Hmm. You know, I feel a lot of you guys are actually moving on, but you're moving on begrudgingly because, you know, this is the person that you thought was going to be your person. This is the person that you thought was going to be your person. This is the world here, too, I'm noticing, not the Will of Fortune. This is Taurus, Scorpio, Aquarius, Leo energy. Yeah, this person's being dealt um, a karmic hand right now. They're facing their own shit. This is what's going on. It's being thrown back in their face so they cannot ignore it. So even if this is your soulmate, I feel like soulmate situations, they're tough, but um, they're, soulmates to me are people that, you know, you are possibly going to spend the rest of your life with. And it's not an extremely difficult situation. It is challenging, but when you have what some people like to call um, these twin flame relationships or very karmic relationships, those relationships are in place to basically show you something, show you something that you missed or that you are missing about yourself. Okay. So, um, I do feel like this person, you know, they are in your life for a particular reason. I do feel like this person um, was here to teach you something. They're in your life to teach you something, most definitely. But I feel like a lot of you have learned and you're moving on um, from this situation. This person, they still have some work to do. They still have some work to do. They're in the thick of it right now. Okay, and depending on if they actually learn what they need to learn, they'll be in the thick of it again, you know, because once you get it, you know, you've got it and you don't need to get it again, to be honest with you. So, yeah, this person has some work to do. So anyway, that is what I have for you guys and I'll be speaking with you soon. Bye.